forte of food. I have no freaking clue where this is from. Look. We'll eat that. Welcome back to We'll Eat That. Thanks, Sinead. You're welcome. So Sinead and I are gonna be spinning this little arrow right here, and wherever it lands on the board, we're gonna be eating that taco. Then we're gonna rate that taco on a scale of one to five taco emojis based on flavor, texture, experience. We're going to be competing against each other to see if we can actually guess where these tacos are from. That's actually really hard, because right now I can think of about two taco establishments, and I'm wondering Same. how there are six. I don't even know how that's possible. And right now you guys are actually looking at the logos, which is basically cheating, because we don't get to know them, but it's fine because you don't get to eat them. Mm. Whoever gets the most points, actually at the end of all of this, gets to take home the prize, which is the I ate that trophy. You get to take it home. They let you take it home. Yeah, it's kind of falling apart, but I still want it. I think they fixed it. I saw the hot glue gun in action earlier. Oh, thank God. Oh, what does it smell like? Lettuce. This one actually is the one that looks the most taco-y mm -hmm. of all of these. I love the color. This is a beef taco. Uh, yeah, okay. Uh-huh. Mm. A little soggy, but are we sure we cheese, didn't just honestly. make this? Like this is like a taco kit that your mom puts together for you and your friends on like a mm -hmm. Saturday night, you know? It's very American. I could agree with that. It definitely tastes as if like there's no seasoning on this. It's just like meat, lettuce, cheese. I think there's some flavor in there. Yeah. I just think you have to get in there deep enough. I rate this for flavor, for taste, for deliciousness. A three out of five tacos. Mm-hmm. Right? I was gonna put this right in the middle too because I don't think this is bad by any means. Mm -hmm. I am also not that impressed by it, you know? I think I have to just go with my gut on this just based on the way it looks. One, two, three, Taco Baja Bell. Fresh. Wow, Taco Bell, I thought the, the beef was ground beef there. I didn't no, know they like changed it. Remember that chef lady came in and like changed the whole menu and then they told us about it in every commercial? I don't even care, like I like Taco Bell when it was mystery meat, I like Taco Bell now. I like Taco Bell forever, like screw it, I don't care. <laughs> This looks this gross is gonna to be me. so hard for me because I'm really bad at soft shell tacos. I mean, I've never I had to guess where my taco came from before, but I don't eat soft shell tacos very often mm -hmm. unless it's from like a taco truck, uh -huh. you know? Cool. Um, but this Glad is a pretty good trip. looking taco. I will say, what kind of meat is this? It's better be like pork or, it's or chicken. chicken. Okay, that's yep. fine. I just feel like this is not quality. I just, there's a reason why like sauce is the best. You know when you order from the truck and they're like con todo and you're like, yeah, everything. everything Guacamole. You have in the truck, salsa put it verde. On the taco. This is like what you would eat when you're four years old and you don't like anything. You know that time in your life where you hate yeah, everything? Yeah, because this tastes like rotisserie chicken. I would rate this one out of five tacos. Just I don't, because it's so bland. It does not taste, doesn't taste bad, but it just doesn't taste good either, you know? I think that I'm gonna give this a two. I don't think mm. it's as bad. It's really hard to judge tacos when you have no sauce on them. I have no freaking clue where this is from. I think I know what I'm gonna guess. It's one of my only guesses I have in my pocket. On the count of three. One, two, three. Baja, Baja Fresh. Oh, El Boyo I totally forgot about them. I knew there was one like Baja Fresh that I was in my head, but I had no idea. It was never gonna come to me, oh, ever. Oh, yes. I'm loco for not knowing El Pollo Loco. I haven't had El Pollo Loco in like maybe seven years. Yeah, there's a lot of regret there sometimes. I feel like I know what this is based on how it looks, because it looks disgusting. Oh no. There's like, literally, um, a, I think there's a slice of American cheese in here. Stop. Look at that, is that a, that's a slice. That is an American craft well, single. I don't recommend right you open there. that up and look in, look inside of that. Open I don't want to look. You look. Open it up. See what she's got in there. Wow. All right. Anyways, let's All just right. do this. It's American cheese. Mm-hmm. What? So insane. Are we sure it's not like nacho cheese that's just congealed? Oh, don't say that I'm word. I'm sorry. Oh man. I'm sorry. We could have used that with congealed but word. Mm. I will say that this this sauce is where it's at. There's more flavor in this than the other two, in my opinion. Is this a wheat taco? Because oh, that would be hilarious. I hope so. All right. So out of five tacos, I'm gonna say this is a three. Yeah, I'm just gonna give it three too. Right in the middle, just wow, based on it's taste. higher than I thought. No, based on taste alone. It's fine. Because I know what this is, it's disgusting. I don't choose to eat this. One, two, three. Jack, Jack in the box. Jack in the box, 
that sauce? Hell yeah, they do. I don't even know what Jack in the Box serves. I honestly, do they serve burgers? What, are, what is their forte of food? This makes me excited because mm. I like the way the hard shell looks so yeah. much. And I like the way the meat looks. It smells so good. I, I think All I right. know who this is. Okay. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Wow. 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 That's good. Yeah, that's good. That tastes like a homemade, mm. fresh, kind of pulled pork yeah. slash beet kind of thing. Like my grandpa made these in the backyard. This is literally dry and it's good. You know mm -hmm, what I mean? Which mm -hmm. is saying a and lot. And cold. Wow, that's really good. There's a lot of flavor in it. I love the cheese. It's like a, a light white cheese, but I like that the beef is shredded. You know what I mean? On a scale of one to five tacos, it's five tacos. 100%, this mm -hmm. is a five. Five tacos. It's really good. Like two ingredients and it tastes this good. Yeah. All right, do you have an idea of where this is gonna be from? I mean, I feel like I know where this is from, if it's not the restaurant I'm thinking, then I need to go to this restaurant, like ASAP. I think I know, but I've messed up every single round so far. Show. Okay, on the count of three. One, two, three. Triple A. That might Del Taco is what I was trying to get. Chipotle has tacos? It's six ninety eight for three. You really go there a lot. <laughs> All right, another soft shell. This girthy? is very interesting. It's girthy. The meat looks really good. You don't like chunky meat. I don't like what's happening here. It looks like you dropped it in the grass <laughs> at your neighbor's barbecue and you fell bad. Nah. You're like, I should just probably eat it. All right, biting, biting, biting. Oh, ah! Ah. Maybe it would fall in the grass at your neighbor's party. Ah! Oh, I thought it was gonna fall off your plate. Oh, I was about to get oh that would be so home. sad. There's so many learnings happening. This isn't bad. The green it tastes like vegetables, that's it. You know, it tastes like onion. What is that green stuff? It is so greeny. Look. That isn't very good. It really tastes cilantro y. This is not good, actually, now that I'm eating it. It's not very, very good. I don't mind the cilantro at all. Okay, on a scale of one to five tacos, this is a half of a taco for me. I don't even give it the credit of being an entire taco snack. Yeah, I'll give us a one. Yeah. There's too many things wrong with it. The shell itself is like, in its rawest form too, which yeah. is like, kind of gross. Hold on, let me just think really quick. So we did Taco Bell, Jack in the Box, Chipotle, El Pollo Loco. I mean, I honestly, I don't freaking know okay. the last two. Okay. On the count of three. Yep. One, two, three. Baja Fresh. Okay. Yeah. Okay. I know that flavor. I like some things there, but I used to eat there when I was at my poorest of poor days. And every time I eat Baja Fresh, <laughs> I'm just humbled. I'm yeah. like reminded of the days when I had $7 in my bank account. Clever is the one that introduced me to Baja Fresh. I'm sorry that happened to you. Oh wow. Up there it is. First time, first okay. time spin. This is really confusing to me. I'm also confused as yep. to why there's an avocado on here. Yep. They chose to, to put avocado on here. I think the avocado gives it away. Okay, I'm okay, excited ready? and nervous, yep. Biting into something that you don't know what you're about to experience, it's kind of a very vulnerable feeling. I took a giant bite of lime in the beginning there. There's a lot of lime happening. And like, I like squeezing lime on a taco, but like, you shouldn't be eating a fruit. The look of it is good. The taste of it's just okay. Honestly, I don't think this is that good. Like, I would give this a two. Wow, I think I would give it a uh, two and a half. Some of the other tacos were really good. There's just like, not a lot of flavor. If you take a bite of taco and the, the thing that stands out to you the most is the freaking lime, then that's kind of sad. And the avocado. Yeah, it's a weird balance. You're like, I love the avocado. I'm like, I taste lime. If this is the place I'm thinking of, then I'm actually disappointed. Ready? One, two, three. Del, Del taco. taco. Yeah, I don't have enough experience with Del Taco to know. I just, I really just used my deductive reasoning there. I'm like, there's I did no too. way. I did too. There's no way that Del Taco wouldn't be on this board. All right, you guys. We crushed that, but obviously the big winner is Chipotle for five out of five. And honestly, it is a five out of five. Between Sinead and I, I think you guys probably already know, she beat me. She had five out of six tacos right. I got two out of six, but I didn't have high expectations. You know, I'm the burger connoisseur, so I don't, 
What, you just gonna give it to her just like that? Like, I, we didn't even have like a moment of like togetherness. Thank you so much. I'd like to thank, um. The Academy? No, I'd like to thank all of those drunken nights that helped me to be able to recall all of these disgusting fast food tacos that honestly, they're not even that bad. Um, but yeah, I totally ate that. You guys, let us know what else you would like to see us eat on We'll Eat That. What do you, I mean, I'm actually kind of scared to ask you, but let us know in the comments anyway. Subscribe to this channel, you guys. Hit that bell so you're notified when new videos are uploaded. And that's it for today's video. I think we're gonna go take our pants off now. I love this, Jen. You guys, that was so much fun. I know it was. And for more fun, you have to click right over here for another episode of We'll Eat That. We need like a jingle or something. Also, hit the subscribe button. I already we said it once, but I'm, you know, we'll the bear's repeating. Sinead's over there, I don't know if you can tell. She's singing, subscribe.